Hello, I'm Ryan F9 and I've just ducked into Ontario to ride the Long Sioux Parkway. Now obviously, I mean, the province is pretty darn proud of this road, so I'm excited to find out why. Now obviously, this is a very peaceful place. Uh, it's what it's known for, and rather ironically, I decided to vlog about really loud, annoying loud pipes. Um, maybe it doesn't fit the surrounding, but it's an issue that's on my heart. Motorcyclists love to divide and argue over this issue, and I don't know, does it matter if loud pipes save lives or not? All right. Yeah, motorcyclist friend. Two of them, rather. That's what we're in for, by the way. It's sort of a long road goes between a bunch of islands like that. Hello. All right. Whew. See, 55, that is very serious. Um, they patrol this area like nothing else, so you actually can't go that fast around here. But I have a feeling that, that I'm not going to really care that much. Hey, hey, birdie. Oh, look at that. Shimmering blue water. So yeah, there's all these islands over here, um, and the road just kind of connects all of them, so... That's what we're in for. That is what we're in for. Hmm. Nil Rosh. Oh, that'd probably be a nice place to camp. Okay, so we're going on to the second island here. Sweet. Here we go. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. I think I already know why they built the sign so damn big. This is a hell of a nice place. And the water is like a really, not so much on this side, but really on this side, it's like a really sort of aqua-y, it's got a really greeny tinge, you know? It's like when you go to Jamaica or something. Uh, of course, this is just Ontario, and it's just as pretty. That's amazing, I love that. Mm. So, do loud pipes save lives? Does it matter if loud pipes save lives? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's not a good space for motorcyclists. If you're unfamiliar with the issue, type LPSL into Google and kiss your afternoon goodbye. And there's a billion articles on the subject. There's a billion hateful comments. I mean, every year the debate rages, right? Someone will dredge up the hurt report. Um, someone will bring a shovel, a sharpened pitchfork. Someone will come armed with amateur science. We'll all meet at the battleground. We'll dig up the dead horse and then we'll kick the shit out of it. I mean, that's exactly what we do year after year after year after year. And it kind of sucks. Um, you know, motorcyclists have enough stereotypes to begin with. We don't have to go adding more with the whole loud pipes type lives dispute. And that's my argument today. It's a happy one. Um, I know it's kind of a serious topic for such a beautiful surrounding, but it's a happy argument. Uh, and my argument is that it doesn't matter if loud pipes save lives, and if we stop caring, then maybe we can all get along. Here's what I mean. Uh, the loud pipes save lives sort of logic normally goes like this. I rode the highway here this morning, um, and maybe I have loud pipes on my bike, um, and, you know, I blip the throttle before moving into every blind spot, and what do you know? I made it here and I'm not dead. Nobody killed me! Therefore, they must have heard my loud pipes and they were useful. So says, uh, the logic. But then I arrive here, right? This is, by definition, a very peaceful place. Um, you know, people walking their dogs, people taking their kids to the beach, and, uh, and my loud pipes are still on my bike. Um, and so the engine's warm from the highway, it's eager to kind of rev up a little bit, just like that. Um, maybe I get carried away, and before I know it, you know, someone's dog is wetting itself, someone kid, uh, you know, just faints, and I scare everybody, and now I'm the big bad guy. Uh, because my loud pipes are just annoying and obnoxious. There's cool little dirt trails in here, I might, I might explore a little bit on the way out. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so the logic goes like that. And as you can see, uh, the case of loud pipes played out in two separate courtrooms, basically. Um, you know, where the noise was helpful, I saw the benefit. But where the noise was unnecessary, um, everyone else just sees it as annoying. And that's why it doesn't matter if loud pipes save lives or not, because it's... It doesn't matter if you answer the question. It's dependent on a momentary instance, and not sort of a universal answer, yes, they save lives, or no, they don't. You know? It's dependent on the moment. Did you have to hear the noise, or did you not? I mean, let's put it this way, right? Nobody narrowly avoids killing a motorcyclist just to say, man, those pipes were so annoying. Oh, here's another island. Sweet! It just comes one after the other. Island, 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 island. It's so cool. It's pretty. I love how they've groomed it, too. It's like really 
full on parkway here. Um, so yeah, I was just saying, no one narrowly misses a motorcycle, it's only to say, man, those bikes are annoying. At the same time, nobody is like woken up in their bed at night by a super loud pipe and says, wow, oh, I'm so glad I heard that. Uh, no, you know, if you were annoyed by the noise and you didn't need to hear it, and if you need to hear it, then you wouldn't be annoyed. Ergo, it doesn't matter if we have an answer to LPSL debut because there is no answer. It's dependent on a momentary answer rather than some sort of universal, aha, I can point at you from my high tower and say that it's this way kind of answer. Ah, oh, love it out here. I, I could see sport bike guys struggling with this. I mean, the pavement is total butter. It's really tempting to just like fly on a road like this, but nope, cruiser mentality, just sit back, take it all in, relax, go slow and enjoy it. That is what this kind of road is about. Man. So as I was saying, uh, the other piece of logic, cruisers take a lot of flack uh, because, you know, these are the people, they have loud pipes, save lives, stitch onto their vest, and hello, they're wearing a vest. They have their bare arms, they have their half helmet, whatever. So people say loud pipes, save lives must be a very hollow bullshit excuse because the people who use it um, obviously don't care that much about safety if they don't wear full-on equipment. I say, though, that's not really a good argument. I wish people would stop making it. And that's because motorcycling, by its very nature, is a subjective balance between safety and pleasure. I mean, hello, I'd be riding around here in a bright yellow minivan if all I cared about was safety, but I'm not. I don't look like a tater tot. I look like a motorcyclist. I'm wearing, uh, can I get my camera down that low? These are mesh pants, um, if you can see those. Um, that's because it's hot out here. It's more pleasurable for me. Yeah, 25 degrees Celsius. It's beautiful out here, actually. Um, so it's more pleasurable for me to be in mesh pants than to wear something else. I know this isn't the safest choice, but it's the one that I've made. And all of motorcycling goes along that way. We, we choose a balance between fun and safety. And so you can't point at cruisers and say, hey, you and your half helmet can't possibly choose loud pipes because they're safe, because that's not fair. Right? I mean, they can choose things because they're safe, and they can choose things because they're fun, and it can be sort of a mix of both, basically. Here comes a nice pretty island. Or another nice pretty island. There's so many out here. Oh, uh, wow, that's a pile of sticks. Did a beaver do that? That would be the most confused beaver in the world. He's like, nah, screw the dam. I make an island. I guess he got inspired by all the pretty islands out here. I don't know, wanted to make his own. Man. So yeah, uh, it doesn't matter whether loud pipes save lives or not, because if they do, motorcyclists can choose them because they're safe, but if they don't, motorcyclists could still choose them because they're fun. And both rationales are equally valid to a lot of motorcyclists out there. Alright, I think we're coming up to, this is probably the last bridge actually. You can tell I'm totally relaxed now, hands off, whatever. I mean, you go at 55 kilometers an hour for long enough and you stop really uh, feeling in the zone. Now see, at this point, you're probably wondering whether I sort of use loud pipes or not. Is this one of those rangers? I think it might be. Hello! See, that's why you gotta do 55. Um, you're probably wondering whether I use loud pipes or not. I actually don't. I like my motorcycles quiet in the same way that I like my coffee black. Uh, there's nothing wrong with people who take cream. Maybe I might try taking cream one day. But, uh, yeah, for now, I take it black. But yes, I know that's a very extended metaphor for loud pipes, but there you have it. I don't personally use loud pipes, but as you know, I would not argue um, that they save lives or that they don't. I think that's a very destructive thing to do. So do loud pipes save lives? Well, I don't actually know. And for our sake, I hope I never know. And the question doesn't matter. So if we can all resign ourselves to uncertainty, then oh, we can stop pointing fingers at each other and just get along.